guys, we just went to H Mart and bought a ton of stuff. We've been saying we wanted to take this trip for quite some time and we bought a lot of goodies for the kids to enjoy, a ton of ramen and some sweet surprises along the way. Let me show you what we got. All right, so I got some leek dumplings and they're frozen and I got fresh noodle ramens, but they had a soy sauce flavor. So I thought that would be interesting cucumber lays and edamame chips my husband got some green tea ice cream and some strawberry mochi ice cream or mushi uh my daughter loves boba tea so we found these instant boba packs brown sugar and black tea flavored we're gonna give them a shot we're not really sure how they work but um willing to give something a go so we're doing it i'm a huge ramen fan so i tried these crispy ramen snacks and then back in the frozen aisle we got some pot stickers with meat and vegetables i got premium soy sauce some mango juice that looks absolutely divine and this is some sesame dressing it's from mccormick but um it was in their salad area, so I thought I'd give it a shot. And this is a strawberry water, no, peach water, peach water. 2% fruit juice is what I'm assuming that means. Pancake mix, how fun is this? I love scallion pancakes. All you have to do is shred some scallions and maybe I wanna put some other vegetables in there as well. I can go ahead and do that. We have some lobster flavor. Um, he wanted to try lime lobster ramen and then we also got red meat italian red meat flavor lays chips i couldn't resist the entire huge country style kimchi section so i got a small one we're gonna try the kimchi oddly enough there was a huge rails sale so we got picked up some rails bill what what are these one's indian bitter melon this little one this one is banana flour and this is some other kind of melon but i actually took the picture because i would forget okay so, he's gonna look that up that while, one is well i continue this is ramun we always get this when we go to uh benihana disney wherever we can get ramun we get it and uh, they had a plenty of flavors but grape happened to be on sale my husband picked up a wide variety of beer options, and so he got the red rice. Uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. A little variety here and there. And these are Japanese craft beers. Japanese craft beers. He's going to give those a go. And let's see what we have over here uh, dumplings with spicy beef. Fried noodles. Now, I'm going to tell you, the ramen noodles were all spicy, 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 spicy. It was very hard for me to find mild. So, what I got, I was able to get, but 90% of it was spicy when it came to chicken. I forgot the Sapporo, guys. There was one more. Ooh, um, are you going to have it? Is that your way of saying you're going to have it? Uh, then, over here, we have panko breadcrumbs. This is my husband's. Uh, this is the one that he likes. This is the Nangshim spicy it knocks your socks off if you really want to give it a go if you like spicy definitely give this one a try uh, we just got some salad that we thought the kids would get a kick out of this fish shaped strawberry um, ice cream and then also the sweet corn ice cream sandwiches they look like corn so we're gonna try that as well uh, honey butter chips beef noodles beef ramen noodles Again, this was also a little bit hard for me to find things that didn't have oyster sauce um, mixed in. I'm not really a huge uh, fish eater. I took a chance with tempura. We're gonna give this one a go and see what it tastes like. Another one for the kids, cookies and cream. Um, this is from Japan. This is um, Senyukira Udon. And again, I don't really know what the flavor is, but we're giving it a shot. This is my lunch. This is a stir fry already made. Six bucks for this. I mean, I could I could eat this for two days, my goodness. This is quite a meal. Comes with vegetables, eggs, and the stir fry. Here's a second Rayos. Another ramen, mild. Again, we tried to get the ones that were 
mild. We got the dipping sauce for all of those dumplings and pot stickers that you saw. Here's our second mango. My husband likes uh, matcha tea. So we got one matcha and actually one green tea. Uh, Ito N uh, is a very popular brand of tea. There was actually a store in the city that we used to go to back when we didn't have children and we used to get a ton of tea uh, when we were young and carefree and we had no strings like attached now. and no strings attached to our lives. We would just frolic into the city and get loose leaf tea at Ito N. And now we buy it at the grocery stores this way because that's what happens to you guys. And last but not least, we have rice crackers, which looks like a fun snack. So this was absolutely ridiculously expensive. I'm not even going to tell you the number because you won't believe me. <laughs> if I do, we're going to pretend it didn't happen. I'm just literally going to pretend this moment didn't happen. It didn't happen. Just I to will say... These were very expensive. Well, it's your fault then, William. No, they really were. These were $6 each. I mean, how dare you? These were a splurge purchase. How dare you do this to us? But I'm just going to ignore this trip. This is not part of my food budget trip. This is a gift from my mother, and I'm going to deduct this from our gift budget folder. And that's the end Cheers. of the story. Cheers, Bill. My husband's just drinking already. Is it 12 o'clock yet? It is in Japan. It's 12 o'clock in Japan, so we're rolling with it, and that's the end of the story.